Greetings, I guess. Um, hello everybody. I am back with another video. Fucking finally. Sorry, I haven't been uploading. It's been three days, and I kind of took a little break, and now I'm behind. Just a little bit on my schedule. I have to make a few shorts and there's a few videos I still need to make. Like, a, so I missed the monster fight fight. I, I like doing them. If, if y'all don't like them, suck it. Anyways, um. Here's the thing, um, hmm, I, I, I woke, I woke up this morning, and I'm like, man, I don't want to make episodes, and he, and he keeps my videos, and then, morning before that, and morning before that, and I'm like, nah, no, I don't, I, I'm just feeling fine, I just, one took a break, so, I'm back, <laughs> tomorrow's my catch-up day, so, uh, there should be a lot of videos coming out tomorrow, unless a few, and we're gonna come back with, uh, an episode review. So let's get started. Yay! Um, Phantom of the Auditor Auditorium. Now, forgive me if I forget anything that happens, because this episode is, like, fast pacing. It it's kind of like really, really, really fast. It goes it goes by like a millisecond, and there's a lot to take in. There is a lot of different scenes. So if I forget something, please forgive me. I will give a total ranking and. Not my most favorite, but definitely some, definitely like around the 30s that I put this episode. Like, early 40s, 37, going down from worst to best from like 75, 76, how many ever, how many there are, down to one, which is the best. So yeah, I put it in like the early 40s. Anyways, let's get started. Hmm. So our episode begins with our characters, which I can't remember for the life of me. Only Zeke. He's kind of social, you know. Anyways, um, and they're met up to, they've met up together. We start off a weird dream sequence before that one. I'm not gonna get into that. It's very fucking weird. It's like, we're on crack. It's, it's like, it's like you're sniffing cocaine, and then the cocaine bandit comes in your house, and they're like, Here are the You stole my bricks. You little pricks. That's kind of what. That's kind of the vibes I get. I'm just making random shit up at this point. Anyways, what happens next? Uh, well, our main characters are talking. They're all talking about the curse of the Phantom. That let's be all the opera stage or the auditorium stage in this case, because it's called Phantom the Op Auditorium. Sorry, sorry, Phantom the Opera. I love the song. I love Phantom the Opera. Hey. We reach 100 likes on this video. I will make that in my Sing Monsters composer. I'll make Phantom of the Opera. How's that sound, guys? Anyways, <laughs> 100 likes. I, I doubt it. Anyways, oh, uh, and we can see our that our Phantoms kind of like watching from the catwalks, and it's kind of creepy. Anyways, talking about the curse and uh, their friend. I, I think it's Zeke. Yeah. Zeke, he's in a phantom costume behind the curtains, and he reaches out and he grabs her main character, and he says, "I've been waiting so long for this, Esmeralda." Yeah, that's her name. Apparently, that's who he thinks she is. Anyways, yeah, so he grabs her. It's just a joke, and everybody gets mad. Teacher's like, "You should behave, and we we have the show's gonna go up in like a week. You better behave." And then all of a sudden, a kid's just lift, um. You know how the floor opens up and then the thing goes down to bring characters off the stage. Or, like, for magic tricks. They do know a lot in Patrick's tricks. So, yeah. A secret platform lowers beneath a kid. And, yeah. It's just this whole thing. Uh, teacher's like, okay, okay, okay who did that? No, no, no. Yeah, it's just malfunction. Anyways, that night, Esmeralda. I'm gonna call her Esmeralda because I don't remember her name. It could be Esmeralda, but that's what the Phantom thinks she is. And actually, she's playing in the role. So, Esmeralda and her friends, like Zeke, I think it's only Zeke, go down there to see what's down there, and they meet the night janitor. What school is a night janitor? I don't know. I really don't know what school would have a night janitor, but whatever. It's pretty cool, though. Anyways, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all that happens down there to meet the night janitor. And, uh, he's kind of sus, you know? Like, what school has a night janitor? What, what school has a night janitor? My... All, all the schools I've been to, and I've been to like four, four different schools my entire life, all in Montana, all in the same freaking uh town, 
never left this- I I barely ever leave this town. I, I bet you 99.8% uh, of my life has been spent in this very town. And uh, 80% of it's spent in this house right here. No, 1%. It's because of school. I hate school. <laughs> Anyways. You know, it's kind of sus. It's night janitor. Like, why, why do you have a night janitor? You know, I've never I've never seen a school with a night janitor, okay? I'm just saying it's just kind of weird for me. I've, I've never, I didn't know that was a thing until I watched this episode again. I forgot it was a night janitor character. Ugh. That's like the last we see of them. Anyways, um, the next day, they're, uh, like, rehearsing. I think they're rehearsing? Yeah, they're rehearsing indeed. And, uh, sorry if I skip anything or miss anything. Okay, guys, don't get mad at me. But as they're, they're rehearsing, um, Esmeralda forgot her script. She goes back to her locker, and there's a note saying, Esmeralda, I'm in love with you. I'm the Phantom. I, I've been waiting for years, 60 years. Oh, my God. <laughs> and she kind of thinks it's a prank. Prince, uh, yeah, so um, she grabs her thing, and then... Yeah, that night, she grabs her script, and they go practice. She just shugs it off as a joke. Anyways. And there's also a mask in there. It's like a skull mask or a phantom mask. It's very weird. I'm not gonna go into that. In the sexual. Or, I mean, uh, let's continue to later that night. Esmeralda is practicing her lines, and... Guess who's in her window? Zeke the Phantom! Um, Zeke dressed as the Phantom, since Zeke plays the Phantom, joking around with her, trying to scare her. And she's like, that's enough! <laughs> and I'm like, take a good joke, girl! <laughs> yeah, so sexual intertwines happen then. I mean, uh, anyways, the next day, um, they're rehearsing, and Zeke is about to come in as the Phantom. But he, um, it, not in the correct way, let's just say that. He, uh, swings down from a like a rod, a rope, and he swings down like like fucking Tarzan onto the stage, and then the platform lowers, and then a door falls on, on nearly falls onto Esmeralda. It falls. She just she, she barely misses it. She bar she barely just barely, and then uh, Zeke enters the room for from the main doors of the auditorium, and they all assume Zeke did that. And he's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. but then again, you know, this is, then now now Zeke's in double trouble because they find a trail of red paint to his locker, and um, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, in in in, in the locker, it's just full of paint. And I think there's writing. I can't remember what it said, but seriously, like, why, man? It wasn't him. It's the Phantom. You, you think? Uh, or I mean, uh, anyways, he's kicked off the show, and someone else is going to play the Phantom. It's another boy. It's their newcomer, the the new kid. Forgot to mention that there's a new kid. There was that's that happened during the oh I forgot my script scene. She went to her back to her locker and saw there was a note from the Phantom, and the Phantom Mask or Soul Mask or whatever. <laughs> anyways, cut to opening night, and well, actually. No, not opening night. Right before. The night before opening night. That she decided to go down there one more time. Because she doesn't believe Zeke did it. So, she and another friend. Probably the new Phantom. Go down there. And, I think it was Zeke again. But I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. But she went down there with another friend. And probably Zeke again. And Esmeralda and Zika, they can't, they find the Phantom. Like, actually, the Phantom. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of this whole thing. And they run, they run, and they go back up the thing, and they call the cops. Literally, they call the cops. And I, I skipped the scene. Um, the, the janitor, the day janitor said there was never a night janitor. I forgot to mention that. That happens just the right right after, right be, right before the scene that I just told you that happened. So they realized there's no night janitor. So that's why they went back down there. Okay, sorry guys, 
It can be confusing for y'all. Don't mind the whining. That's that's my dog. He wants in my room, but I don't want him in here. <sighs> Anyways, um, the cops find absolutely nothing, but they do find evidence that someone was living under the school, and they think it was a homeless man. Like, okay. But Zeke is back in the show, in the flesh. Zeke is back, because they realize, oh yeah, Zeke did that. Well, Zeke didn't do that. Zeke is back in the show. Amazing, I think. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, let's continue. Opening night. We get to see everything go down now. And honestly, this is my favorite part of the episode. Um, so, our phantom comes in. In the right time. But here's the thing. Um, the, 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 um, it's not the right phantom. It's not Zeke. Zeke's trap door closed on him. So, he's not up there. He's trapped down below. And, yeah, it's kind of crazy. She's dancing with Adam. You know, the new kid. The new kid is actually here. Or, so we think, the new kid. Adam. Um, but, here's the thing. Here's, here's the weirdest thing. What the fuck? Anyways, um, that, that, yeah, the weirdest thing was, like, what the fuck is happening? Anyways, uh, the show is over, and it's very, very frightening and very scary. I, I really like it. And the Phantom, uh, kinda, just kinda, just kinda disappears. You know, it's, it's a whole thing. I'm not gonna go into details about the show. You gotta watch it, it's pretty cool. Um, but the show ends, and then they close the curtains, and they celebrate, everybody's cheering. They open the curtains, take a bow. But then, then she's like, oh my god, Zeke, you were amazing. And she's like, he's like, I was stuck below the stage. Where were you guys? How, how, what do you mean I was amazing? Then they look in the, the yearbook, and something's changed. Now, there's a, there's a new kid in the yearbook who, they look back in the stage manual or something. I can't remember what they looked in, but they figured out that the original player of the original Phantom was Adam, the new kid. Yeah, the new kid. So that's, I, I love that twist. I do like that twist. Yeah, it's Adam, the new kid. Um, So yeah, I find that really cool. Like, what? Adam was the phantom. Back from the dead. Turning red. Big red. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm just joking. Uh, anyways, um, so my rankings were... Out of tens. Blank out of tens. Okay, so acting. Acting was a 9.5 out of 10. Some of it could have been a tiny bit better. I think the teacher wasn't good. I think the teacher's definitely not the best. The actors. The kids were phenomenal. Um. Anyways, yeah, that was, that was pretty good acting. That was pretty good. Special effects, there were a few. And the ones we did get were pretty awesome. This is actually some of the best special effects I have ever seen in a Goosebumps episode. 10 out of 10. Literally, just a perfect solid 10 out of 10. Um, and overall, like, this episode... Well, if we go into the things that I don't want to go into... Which I don't usually rank. Just, like, um... Story, plot, twist, and narration... And voice lines, screw, whatever. Um, scare factor. Um, it ranks down to about a s s eight, eight out of ten. I, I give this episode an eight out of ten. It was really good, and I highly recommend it if you want to get started on Goosebumps episodes. Now, it's not the very best episode of its um Scholastic Fox have ever created with Goosebumps, but still, it's pretty good. So. Go watch it if you haven't. Hope you all enjoyed this episode review, and I'll see you back in the next one. Bye.